Hi YouTube, welcome to another quick GPU test. In this one I'm going to compare an RTX 4090 in my desktop computer, as you see on the screen there. It's a nice clean single GPU setup, and we're going to test it against a dual RTX 3090 system to make a point about efficiency and cost savings. This is the test scene that we're going to use for this render. It's 100 frames total, and we'll see how these stack up. The left side of the screen is my desktop. It's running Blender just um, on the desktop. And then the right side of the screen is a remote desktop app iteration that is remoted into the dual 3090 setup. And I show both of the um, system preferences on the two iterations of Blender. So you can see that the 14090 and the 2390s will be competing, both using optics render in cycles. And I am using Blender 3.5. So here's what the viewport looks like. Always remember before you start rendering to go back to solid view mode. If you use render view mode, you, you'll waste a bunch of resources um, that should be used for rendering instead of running the preview. So now I'll run the actual recording of the renders, and obviously they're sped up. And you can already see that the 4090 is a lot faster than the 23090s, and we'll quantify that in a minute. But the big point here is that saving a hundred bucks or a couple hundred bucks on older cards and just getting more of them isn't really a better deal because you're just gonna spend a lot more money on power for the entire time you own the cards. One RTX 4090 GPU has a TDP of 450 watts, and two 3090s has a combined TDP of 7 or 800 watts. So all of the money you save by buying multiple older GPUs will vanish over time as you spend money on your power bills. And here are the results. So the single 4090 GPU ran the 100 frames in 33 minutes, and the dual 3090 system ran the same 100 frames in 47 minutes, which means that the single GPU, the single 4090, is 1.3 times faster than two 3090s. So this test shows that one expensive RTX 4090 GPU outperforms two older, cheaper 3090s. And if you consider the power over the amount of time you'll own the card, it's a no-brainer. The newer RTX 4090 is the better deal. Also keep in mind that one expensive GPU will look a lot cleaner and be easier to set up like this in a normal desktop where running multiple older pieces of hardware in a system can be super messy and inconvenient. If you like these tests or want to see something different, let me know. I have a bunch of different ones I plan on doing, including a bunch with AMD GPUs. Anyway, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.